Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to be talking about Swiss Chalet, their strategy, and the way they have been performing during the global pandemic. Everyone has something they're proud of. At Swiss Chalet, it's our chicken. From our humble beginning 60 years ago, to proudly serving Canada's favorite rotisserie chicken that is fresh, never frozen, and raised on Canadian farms. Then slow roasting them for 90 minutes in our rotisserie ovens until they reach golden brown perfection. We're real people, making real food. The only thing that gives us more pride than our chicken is the joy people get when they taste it. Swiss Chalet. Great food, great value. Hi, my name is Shelley, and I'm here to talk about Swiss Chalet. Uh, before we get to Swiss Chalet, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Recipe Unlimited Corporation, which is the parent company. Uh, it is Canada's oldest and largest full service restaurant company founded in 1883. And it employs almost over 60,000 associates nationwide in more than 1,300 locations. And every year they prepare, cook, and serve uh, or deliver meals to millions of Canadian families. As well as if you choose to dine or call to place the order, uh, you can have the information about menu item, nutritional and allergen information. Uh, in fact, if you want to know what are the calorie count in your menu uh, or the food item that you are having, you can have that information as well. They also have the social safety program that represent a promise of safety protocol and procedures that uh, is um, in place to make the community feel safe each and every day. In order to do that, so shall they launch a comfort program uh, wherein uh, for staff and the guests, there were some safety protocols which came in place. I'll talk about uh, the staff. Every staff is supposed to wear a special PPE mask, follow the uh, health guidelines, uh, sanitation guidelines. Uh, they have to do the wellness check every day. Uh, to ensure guest safety, uh, so shall I ensure that uh, everybody can uh, choose to go for a cashless payment. Uh, you can be seated together in a park uh, within your bubble. And uh, there are some adjusted hours for the store because of the loss of business since not many people are going out now so uh, unfortunately most of the chalet stores have altered their uh, regular timings but uh, they have been pioneers in launching the contactless delivery and curbside pickup in fact they were one of the first one uh, who started uh, the curbside pickup wherein if you have prepaid they bring the food out right to your car you don't even have to go into the restaurant and in case uh, if you place the order, you have prepaid, uh, you can just let the driver know in the app where you want the food to be left and delete the food right there so that there is no contact, which is amazing. Uh, you can also choose to go for uh, gift cards, which is another really interesting part. Uh, if you want to gift somebody um, a social a meal, you can literally buy the gift on the ultimate dining card and uh, send them over email for them to place their order uh, with the help of the gift card. So now if I talk about my experience as, a, as an ex-employee of uh, Swishale, um as a guest experience consultant in their call center, um, I used to work um, with the call center, uh, which was closed down in uh, September 2020 uh, because of the pandemic. Um, we were working from home and then it got closed and outsourced to a third party vendor. This was a move uh, to reduce operational cost, uh, which costed over 150 people their job. Um, some of them actually jumped to the third party vendor wherein company didn't have to pay their employees on our basis, but they just paid them uh, on the basis of the call they took, which is uh, a lot of uh, saving for the company since uh, 
the calls have dropped because of the pandemic. The business was not going so well. Uh, one thing uh, which I really like about uh, customer service and social aid is uh, their uh, conflict resolution and problem solving is impeccable. In case if the guest is not getting the right food, um, the company gives their employee the ownership to uh, return guests their money or send them a new food. Or even if uh, the food is delayed, every food order is guaranteed. Uh, if it doesn't reach there within a certain time, you get your money back uh, unless if it's a no guarantee time. Uh, there's also a resolution in terms of any payment related thing in case if you have uh, any complaints, a management take every feedback really seriously. And I think that is the reason why Socially has been on top of their games for so long. All right. Uh, they have done some amazing marketing in terms of their holiday promotions. Recently, they had their 65-year celebration, so they uh, had an engagement on social media where people were, people shared their real stories, and the winning story actually got turned into a commercial, which I will be sharing in my report. Um, if I uh, talk about my experience of Swiss Chalet, it has always been amazing. Uh, the service is impeccable and the food, uh, food quality is always consistent. And uh, of course, um, if we are talking about Swiss Chalet, if we don't talk about their signature Chalet sauce, the conversation is not complete. Recently, they have uh, launched a grocery program wherein they have started selling frozen a pot pie, uh, dipping sauce, gravies, and a couple more items like uh, soup or gratin uh, to combat competition with Sobeys or any other uh, home meal replacement program with other grocery stores. Um, there is also a lot of promotional deals uh, which has been launched every month um, to give some price uh, discount on the regular pricing. Hello everyone, I'm Ling and I'm going to talk about how Swiss Chalet performed their marketing strategy during COVID-19 pandemic. As you have known, COVID-19 has brought a negative impact on the restaurant industry and many of them have reported an up to 80% in their revenue loss. So in this situation, Swiss Chalet ha has had several marketing activities to boost their income and revenue and one of them is to use direct messaging so instead of spamming customers with emails regularly they would want to customize their emails to send a customer that make it suitable with customer needs and want and they send it in different times of year of the year uh, based off on the customer's uh, personal profile and another point is that they did a lot of collaboration with other companies such as Lay's Chips to make a mashup on uh, Swiss Chalet's iconic sauce and with Hockey Canada to boost um, a healthy, um, positive lifestyle and impact during COVID-19. Also, Swiss Chalet's marketing strategies are usually really family oriented because they aim to, a, to an image of a fun family having um, a lovely dinner together, playing their puzzles, or joining their Nintendo and Swiss Chalet's contest. And at this point, their pricing strategies are usually um, focused on the short run right now to boost their uh, income and revenue, like um, as they have promoted a lot of sales promotions, such as they have brought back um, an old item from their previous menus, or add a, a, a certain items to um, enter this contest by hold by them, and a lot more like that. So in the future, I hope that Swiss Chalets could promote their, could have a lot more um, fun and effective marketing strategy.
Hello everyone, my name is Anna Juneja and I'm gonna talk about how Recipe Unlimited helped Swiss Chalet in covering costs throughout the year 2020. So in 2020, as you all know, the pandemic happened and it was very hard for the restaurant to cover their costs and meet their ends. Recipe Unlimited is a corporation that owns Swiss Chalet and it is Canada's full service restaurant. Oh, the restaurant were uh, facing many restrictions over many things, like especially the capacity of the restaurant and the sales were slowing down. To help support the business, Recipe Unlimited provide many kind of subsidies, especially to cover the rent of the restaurant so that the restaurant doesn't go broke. Recipe Unlimited has made a big contribution to help the restaurants in surviving through the crisis. They promised to balance the restaurant through 2020. In order to help the business, they cut off their compensation. The team didn't got paid uh, well. And also, the payment for the shareholders were cancelled just to help the restaurant. The Recipe Unlimited cancel any kind of royalty or franchisee fee that they were charging from the restaurants before. The recipe continues to support and is still negotiating with the landlords to decrease the rent so that Swiss business like Swiss Chalet can survive. As we know, restaurants have been affected greatly by the global pandemic. A lot of restaurants are closing, a lot of, a lot of uh, people are losing jobs, and it is just, it's gotten out of control. However, thankfully to third party applications such as Uber Eats, DoorDash, Skip the Dishes and such, restaurants are able to actually deliver their food to places way easier than it was before. And other people can't come out to the restaurants, they can't go for indoor dining or patio dining. They use these third party applications to send their food to the people's homes. And honestly, it's been great because this has helped keep many jobs and kind of balanced out the job loss to job gain within with the uh, delivery company because they are hiring people to drive around and deliver food. So people who lose their jobs, as let's say employees at Swiss Chalet could now be delivery drivers and actually make the same amount of money. So third party applications have greatly helped restaurants and have kept, have kept a lot of businesses out of closure just by being there. And yeah. When it comes to human resources, Swiss Chalet has been doing a great job actually. First of all, they have been following these concepts of two crucial elements. The first element is great food, and the second element is great atmosphere. So the important thing is that they have particular standards for their staff. In order to get a job at Swiss Chalet, you need to comply with the standards. So you not only need to be a great cook, manager, or cleaner, etc., but you also need to be able to create that warm, feels like home atmosphere. That is the way they started. They have been using this concept for many years. And we can see that clearly from the advertisement uh, that they made in 1979. Let's look at that. We can clearly see that they had those two crucial elements in their positioning strategy back then as well. The first one was tasty food, again, chicken in particular. And the second one was a great pleasant atmosphere created so that families could have a great time dining there. We can see happy faces of the family eating in that restaurant. Sticking to that idea of hospitality and the right atmosphere helped to make this chain of dining restaurants popular among Canadians. It kind of makes them unique, actually. At the same time, hiring professionals who are able to maintain the atmosphere is very important. That is exactly what Swiss Chalet has been doing for these years. However, despite these advantages, there are some real shortcomings. Many of former Swiss Chalet employees said that they had to leave their jobs because the work environment was toxic and the management was poor. So, if those who work at Swiss Chalet often leave their jobs and there are many new employees, then it is definitely not a competitive advantage. Even though they attract many talented professionals, a lot of them will leave soon anyway. Now I would like to take a closer look at the situation with the pandemic. Swiss Chalet managed to survive this crisis, even though the restaurants were closed and the situation was really hard. Uh, they managed to shift their way of business to different directions, such as drive-through, take-out and ordering food online options. 
that has been helping them to survive this. My point is that without well-organized human resources staffing policy, that wouldn't have been possible. They needed to relocate their resources, they needed to train their staff, and they needed to attract lots of new employees in order to survive this crisis.